Hey guys, I hope you all crispy and crunchy. It's Serial Matty here, and welcome to Doki Doki Love and Literature. I know we all love literature, so I think this is the perfect mod for us to play. And the background music is the trailer music. I just wanted to get that out there so you know it. No, seriously though, this is a mod based on a fan fiction written by Natsuki's Meme Bakery, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah, you can find them on Instagram by that name. And somebody modded this fanfic, and this is a result. And the first thing that caught my eye is that they replaced Natsuki with Monica. And Monica looks so fucking cute there, being about as tall as Natsuki originally, and Natsuki being the tall one here. But let's start a new game. I'm a. Call myself Matty. Okay, I'm a not call myself Matty. Oh, oh wait, I think I called myself Matty when I tried if the recording actually works, so I'm probably called Matty in here as well. Anyway, chapter one, all for a cupcake. Oh yeah, by the way, this uh, mod is separated in, or this fanfic is separated in 14 or 15, I can't remember, different chapters. Um, the version of the mod I'm playing right now has the first 10 chapters in it. So the last 4 to 5 are still about to come into the game or the mod later on. But yeah, just for now we have the first 10 chapters, which is a lot of chapters to go through. So let's do that. Sunrise. The piercing chirps of my alarm club greet me to a rude but routine awakening. Groggily, I run my hands across my nightstand in search of my clock, finally grasping the plastic device. Back to my old spelling, not spelling, speaking disabilities. I squint through the darkness as I try to read the time. Yeah, tummy. 7.01 a.m. Monday. This is the worst time of the week. I sigh and toss my blankets aside as I prop myself up on my bed. I get up and start to stretch, gazing out of the window of my bedroom. Sunrise begins to break through the gloomy cloud clouds, washing away evidence of last night's rainstorm. I open my drawer and dig for my phone, the harsh glare almost blinding my frail eyes. I scroll through the notifications that build up overnight. Boring news report, some kind of funny memes. Same old, same old. Nothing terribly interesting. I tap away at my music playlist, pulling up my se uh, select favorites. Soon, a sweet but somber piano cover ooh, fills my ears as I walk into my small bathroom. This sure is sweet and somber. I start to undress as I begin fiddling with the nozzles, turning them to just the right temperature. Mm. Accompanied by this... Lovely piano track. This must be one of the most refreshing showers you had ever taken in the morning. Had taken? Well, if you narrate it in the past time, that would be correct. I shouldn't talk about tenses right now. As I squirt a dollop of shampoo into my hair and begin to scrub, I take a moment to let the soothing hot water rush over me as I try to gain my thoughts for the day ahead. Oh, hi Sayori. What are you doing in a background here? In a black background? Right? Okay, nothing too bad so far. Assuming she wakes up, I'll probably walk to school with Sayori, my bright, spirited, happy-go-lucky happy friend since our primary days. Jesus, I run out of breath. We've been really, uh, relatively distant since this semester started, but in recent weeks we've been walking to school together just about every day. She'll probably bug me again about joining a club, despite my repeated objections otherwise. Call me antisocial, but I cherish the little free time I have after school, which I admittedly use more for leisure instead of school <laughs> schoolwork. No club has ever felt important enough for me to give those couple of hours to myself up. Plus, I know when Sayori tells me she wants to join a club, it's because she wants me to join her club, the Doki Doki Literature Club. Wait! Is it called Doki Doki Literature Club in the game? I know the game is called that way, but is the literature club in the game called Doki Doki Literature Club? Would be weird because imagine calling a literature club the Heartbeat Heartbeat Literature Club in your language. 
would be kind of weird. But I don't mind. Oh, Jesus. What do I do? Why am I doing things that I'm not supposed to do? <clears throat> okay. She didn't come up with the name. Oh, I should have read first. From what she told me, other than that she's adopted the title of Vice President, she only has three other members. I wonder why that could be. Bless her sweet yet oblivious heart, but pouring out my feelings into a piece of paper isn't exactly my forte. I especially don't want to make a fool of myself when my work doesn't hold up to others. Work I'm not getting credit for nonetheless. You really like brackets, don't you? I finish up my shower and step out, a fluffy towel wrapped around my waist. I reach for another towel and begin to dry my damp black hair. I toss the towel aside as I dig into my closet for my pressed school uniform. I grab my comb and begin to comb my and style my hair, while also grabbing a toothbrush with my free hand. Multitasking at its highest. Compared to other schools, our uniform is actually pretty stylish. I feel bad for those American students who have to wear just a polo and pants. How boring. But I have to agree that the school uniform is pretty fancy. Uh, maybe so fancy that I decided to order one for myself. Though I'm actually male. But that's for a different purpose. But I will... Yeah, you will get to see in about two weeks. So, yeah. Keep your eyes open. I rinse my mouth and head out the door, taking a final look in the mirror. Handsome as ever, I chunkingly say to myself. Don't joke to yourself. Say it with confidence. I'm the sexiest man alive. I am. Truly confident, am I? Almost tiptoeing, and quietly step downstairs as to not wake my parents. Oh, so I have parents living with me in this mod. That's cool. That's a change. Yeah. They work late in the day and don't come home till early um, the next day, so these early hours are re uh, really the, one, the only time they have to sleep. I creep into the kitchen and look in the fridge for a quick snack before I leave. Eggs? Too complex. Cereal? Yes! Can't stay for long. What?! You didn't say that. Take it back! Smoothie? Too loud. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Just take the cereal and go. My eyes focus on the chocolate rice, uh, chocolate chip rice crispy bar. Well, and that lasts longer than cereal. I mean, I don't know, but no, it doesn't. I grab the snack and slip it in into my pocket. I head for the door and start making my way to the front gate. This music is still not running. I glance down at my phone. 7.40. School starts at 8.45. Jesus. You have over an hour. A brisk 10 minute walk to the campus then maybe finding a place to sit and hop into the new manga I started reading. You wanna read this manga for 55 minutes or let's say 3 quarters of an hour? Just... I mean do so, please do so. Um. It was slow going at first, but now it seems that things are finally about to pick up. Hi, Matty! Gah. I almost fell flat on my butt, but I grabbed the fence for support. Standing in front of me is Sayari, her genuine smile beaming at me. She giggles at my clumsiness, not offering to help me up. I lurch forward and dust myself off. <laughs> my clumsiness, her clumsiness too. Haha. <laughs> Jeez, Sayari, trying to give me a heart attack? Nah, <laughs> don't be so dramatic, Matty. I'm sure those mangas you love give you far worse scares than I could. I roll my eyes as we start walking towards the campus. Sayori right beside me. So, how was your weekend? Ah, uh, you know, usual stuff. Finished up some classwork, tried to start reading a new manga. Pretty dull. Yours? She pauses for a moment, carefully thinking of her choice of words. Uh, just at home. You know how la you know how lazy I am. Sierra laughs and I nod in acknowledgement. A car speeds by and splashes up a huge puddle on the road. Instinctively, I push myself and Sierra out of the way. The water splashes onto the sidewalk, leaving a dark streak on the pavement. You okay? Sierra tries to squeak something, but her voice gets tangled. Her cheeks have, uh, were blushing hard. Confused, I glance down. My hands were sort of wrapped around her shoulders. Oh, 
But they were also a bit close to her. To her? I immediately pulled away. Immediately. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> what did you do? Uh, it's okay. An awkward silence lingers for about a minute. Uh, trying to break this awkward tension, I unintentionally created a... I unintentionally created. I dig into my pocket and find the Rice Krispie bar. I think it's Linger. I'm sorry, I said. I think I said Linger. So, um, you hungry? Sierra turns to me and looks at the bar. A smile breaks on her face. Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme! A man after midnight, Sayori tries to reach the bar that I teasingly held out of her reach. She playfully p uh, pounds my chest. You meanie! Okay, here. I add the bar to her, and in seconds she has in seconds she has it open and a chunk of it in her mouth. So good! Thank you, Matty. Thank you. Well, friends have to look out for for friends. Don't mention it. When I say that, Sayori's face kind of con uh, contours into some unusual emotion I can't place. She nods and continues eating the breakfast bar. So now you have nothing in your stomach. You know, cereal would have lasted longer than nothing. Mm -hmm, you know, that's a gigantic school building. For my, yeah, experience. As we approach the school, the influx of students grows greater. The sounds of indistant chatting getting louder. Seeing all the couples holding hands and walking together makes me feel slightly awkward with someone like Sayora at my side. <coughs> this is a more familiar look. We walk through the door of the school, an expensive campus complete with its own koi pond and fully staffed cafe. Koi pond? Seriously? You have koi's? Outside of your school? I mean, pretty fancy, to be honest, but still. Which school has that? Your school, apparently. I stroll through the halls of the school, passing by the endless doors of classrooms and eventually reaching the entrance of the cafeteria. Sayori still trails behind me. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, 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 hello. There's a vending machine back there. Wanna look for cents? So, have you thought about joining any clubs yet? Maybe I ponder my response for a moment. Jeez, stop it, chair. Well, I was thinking of joining the anime club, but I wasn't really sure. I had a, f I, a hint of unenthusiasm lingers in my voice. Of course, I didn't really have any interest in joining. If an anime club is anything like how bad certain fan communities can get, then that is something I want no part in. Matty, you can't be serious. Don't you watch enough of that at home? When you want to join a club that, you know, expands your horizons, makes you think a little? Don't I think enough at school, Sayori? <laughs> My voice is dripping with sarcasm. I stroll, to, I stroll to a row of vending machines and pull out my billfold. Not like that, but in a good way. Thinking without restriction. No grades or anything, just thinking for fun. Peering through the display filled with colorfully packaged drinks and snacks, I eye my usual morning drink, a chilled coffee. I push a button and the machine gives a soft electric whir as it dispenses my beverage. You know, this club kinda sounds familiar. Sayori perks up. R really? I grab my drink from its holder and start to open it. Yeah, and I think I know someone who's in, in it too. She's the vice president, I think. A slight uh, smile escapes my lips. Sayori gives me a look. Okay, fine. You know me too well. <laughs> it's a literature club. Sayori... Without warning, Sayori grabs, grabs me by my blazer and shakes me, almost making me spill my drink. Oh please, Matty, can you at least join, consider joining it? We're really desperate for another member, and we want to at least one new person before uh, the festival. Before the festival next week, there was no two in there. There's a trace of desperation in her voice. I remember in primary school when Sayori would finish her cookie that she had at lunchtime, and then she would use the same voice to ask me over and over for my cookie. No. Eventually, I would just get annoyed and give it to her. That's no, that's not a very nice way of, I don't know, convincing others to give you your cookie. Or persuading. Well, her begging won't work this time. <laughs> I pull my face on, I pull my my face on poker. Yes, I do. Give me one good reason. Sayori grins. 
Actually, I can give you two. My boobs? No. Okay, for all of you out there who want to slap me, I'm gonna do it for you. For all of you, I'm gonna do it to myself. There you go. For one, oh, for one, one of our members baked a tray of cupcakes for our meeting today. There are some of the best I've ever tasted. You have to stop by for at least one. I think about it for a moment. I am, I am a sucker for sweets, and so your knows it. Playing it into we, into my weakness, like a lion does an injured antelope. Plus, Yori knows a thing or two about good food, since she's constantly hungry. I guess one bite couldn't hurt. My mind snaps back to reality. And the other reason? Oh, um... She does this cute tick uh, she has where she taps both of her index fingers together. Mm, I love it! I may have told our club leader I would get us a new member by today. <laughs> I almost choke on my coffee. See, Yori! Don't make promises you can you don't know if you can keep. I don't need to be sorry about that because you're already at least gonna stop by for a cupcake, right? I think about my usual routine after school. Walking home, unwind, take a shower, then do nothing except read manga and do some classwork. About as exciting of a day as wet cardboard. So it's not like I have any other commitments that would stop me from going. Plus, it will make Sayori happy and how can I say no to a face like hers? Alright, so Yori, I'll go. As long as you meet me after the final bell at my class to, ma to take me to where it is. R really? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Tongue twister. So Yori wraps her arms around me in a tight hug. I can't help but blush, darting my eyes around. Nobody seemed to notice. The bell rings, signifying the start of the first period. I say goodbye to Sayori, who happily strolls off in the opposite direction. Da, 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 da. I walk bike bike. I walk bike. <laughs> I walk with the bike. I walk back outside and take another sip of my drink. The smells of morning dew flooding my nostrils. Mm. Fresh morning dew. At a cold fall morning. Morning dew at a morning. Of course. My thoughts linger back to Sierra and the literature club. Would I really be happy spending upwards of an hour after school at a writing club? I mean, at least it might help me improve my skills, and in return help my grades in class. And I'm doing this all for a cupcake, I think with a laugh. I mingled with the crowd of students, trying to reach my class. I head inside to the main building walking up the stairs. I let out a long, quiet sigh. Another boring day awaits. I don't share any classes with Sayori, which are mostly filled with a bunch of random students with a few other boys that fit the title of acquaintance rather than fan. Maybe, see, maybe joining Sayori's club will give me a group of people I can actually consider my friends, literature fans or not. Or perhaps something more. I got the remainder of my drink and tossed the can into the recycling bin, checking my phone one last time before turning it off. Phone usage is strictly forbidden and getting caught results in having it confisc uh, confisc uh, confisc uh, confisc uh, and a hefty fine to go with it. I hastily shoved my phone into my bag. <sighs> Calculus, my favorite. I step inside the class. Chapter 2. Welcome to the club. Right, I think one chapter per video is a good way to split the mod into fitting episodes. So this is the end of the first episode. I know, I know, it was not that amazing yet but i think this will come so stay tuned but for now thank you guys for watching if you liked it tell me somehow and i'll see you all in the next video